Welcome to the continuation of our discussion on accounting for franchise operations on the franchise or books. So we ended on the classification which is the franchise fees. This refers to the fees that the franchisee agrees to pay to the franchise or in a franchise agreement. So ito na yung iya account natin uh, because these are treated as the revenues of the franchise or the fees may cover the supply of know-how, yung technology, the initial and subsequent services, equipment, and other tangible assets. So, there are two critical uh, items uh, when we look at franchise fees. One is yung initial franchise fee. Normally, ito yung uh, upfront fee or yung tinatawag na parang down payment. O yung, kaya siya initial. Kumbaga, uh, this will bind the franchisee and the franchisor on the initial uh, negotiations. So, andyan, naka-itemize kung ano-ano yung um, items na normally ay kasama dyan. Okay? Obtain franchise right, initial franchise is normally paid at the beginning of the franchise and are normally non-refundable. But it will be indicated in the problem if it is refundable or with other uh, conditions. It allows initial franchise fees to be paid over an extended period of time and provide for the right of refund up to a certain amount. Okay. Next is, uh, after the initial, siyempre yung subsequent franchise fees, this will include your, your continuing franchise fees. Okay, what does a continuing franchise fees mean? Ibig lang sabihin nito, yung halimbawa, sa sales mo, merong uh, 80% or 60% or 30% will be... Uh, will be remitted to the franchise or as a revenue, kumbaga parang royalty ang dating, uh, that is called your continuing franchise fees. It, these are normally uh, represented via a percentage, 20% of the sales, ganyan, naka-indicate yan sa problem. So, yung kanina, the IFF, initial franchise fee, next is the continuing franchise fee. There are some items na uh, yung sale of equipment and other tangible assets kasi minsan, di ba, sa mga franchise agreement, di ba, bibentahan, for example, eh, show my stall, uh, may ibibigay, may ibibenta sa yung equipment such as a stove uh, or, a, or, or a steamer na kailangan para doon. So, yun ay babayaran mo din. So, this would uh, include yung mga items such as goods, equipment, supplies na, na ibibenta sa yun ng franchisor. So, that is treated also as a revenue on the part of the franchisor, okay? Okay, let us look at our illustration for the franchise fees, okay? On January 1, ABC grants a franchisee the right to operate a restaurant in a specific location using ABC's trade name, concept, men and menu over a 10-year period. The franchise agreement states an upfront fee of $1.2 million, which includes $200,000 for kitchen equipment, okay? plus 10% royalty based on the franchise's sales. The 200,000 amount reflects the standalone selling price of the equipment. So, ABC regularly undertakes activities such as marketing, product dev, advertising, and implementing operational efficiencies and pricing strategies to support the franchise name. So, in addition, kumbaga, uh, si ABC will uh, siyang bahala dun sa marketing uh, aspect ng franchise agreement. So, ABC delivers the equipment on Feb 1. The restaurant opens on April 1, at which the date license period starts to run. So, nung April 1 mag-start yung license period. The franchisee reports sales of 9 million for the year. So, how do we look at our journal entry in recognizing the transaction? So, uh, some of the items here, yung step 2, will guide you as you look at your uh, obligation. So, as at the conclusion, uh, based on this, there, um, there are two separate obligations. One is the franchise license and second, yung equipment. Kasi di ba may binibentang um, equipment for the franchise, okay? Okay, uh, based on, on this, the equipment will be uh, treated as a performance obligation satisfied at a point in time. Okay? Because that is a right to use. Franchise license, this is a right to uh, 
Since the license is distinct, ABC applies the specific principles to determine whether the franchise is an access or a, a use. The problem states that ABC undertakes activities okay, that can validly expect its rights will change. Therefore, it is a, a right to access based on the criteria. It is a right to access. So, when it is a right to access, it is a performance obligation satisfied over time. Yung franchise license. Okay? Okay, tingnan natin. Yung upfront fee is 1.2 million, 200,000 para sa equipment and 1 million for the balance. So, 10% yung royalty dyan. So, how do we recognize the, uh, the journal entry? For the transaction, so on January 1, you debit cash, debit cre credit contract liability 1.2 million. This is to record the receipt of the initial franchise fee. So, ikaw yung franchisor, nakareceive ka. Pero ang recognition mo pa lang dyan is contract liability. Dati, on our the previous standards, this is UFF or yung unearned franchise fee. Essentially, parehas naman silang liability, pinalitan lang yung terminology. Okay? On February 1, on uh, to recognize the revenue from the initial franchise for fee allocated to the kitchen uh, equipment, to so debit contract liability, alisin mo, then credit mo yung revenue kasi yun yung portion for the equipment. So una, sinet up mo muna yung uh, contract liability for the entire franchise and then tsaka mo siya uh, nireclassify doon sa separate item, yung equipment. On December 31, to recognize revenue from the initial franchise fee allocated to the franchise license, you debit contract liability and then credit revenue. How do we compute for this? 1 million yung franchise uh, balance, di ba? Times... Uh, divided by mo, uh, divided by 10 years kasi yan ay uh, amortized uh, for 10 year period di ba and for that year kasi nagsimula lang siya ng kailan siya nagsimula April tama ba April April siya nagsimula idun din nagsimula yung license period so April May June July August September October November December is 9 months for that year so kaya siya 9 over 12 1 million divided by 10 is uh, yun yung per year, then i-apportion mo yung 9-month period. Okay? Kaya 75,000. For At the end of December 31, you debit cash, credit revenue para naman doon sa sales. Yung sales-based royalty na sinasabi, yung 10%. So, 9 million times 10% is 900,000. Okay? Next. Let us look at, uh, uh, normally, itong mga franchise uh, items are more of uh, journal entries and more of, ang tinatanong lang naman dyan is yung revenue recognized for a particular year. So, parang ganun yung tenor ng questioning in the review and the, uh, and the sipale. Kaya dapat uh, familiar ka doon sa pag-treat uh, nung franchise uh, revenue, okay? Next, in initial services. On December 1, ABC Company granted the customer franchise license to use ABC's trade name and sell ABC's products for 5 years. So, ito yung period. The contract requires an upfront fee of 120 and monthly royalty of 3% of sales. The upfront is non-refundable. So, ito yung gagawin ng franchisor. Okay? Yung assistance inside selection, management, staff training, advertising, and uh, promotion, and uh, execution of the grand opening. The franchise started operations in December and as of December, ABC has no remaining obligation or intent to refund any of the cash received. All of the services, that is, uh, the pre-opening activities have been performed. The customer reported sales to million in December. So, what is your journal entry for this? Okay, please take a look at uh, the steps on how uh, as this will guide you as you go along with the concepts related to the, the franchise. Kung how, paano natin siya itinitreat, okay? And uh, look at the, the tabulation of the commentary on the old and versus the new. Uh, on the old, uh, accounting kasi ito yung ginagamit, yung paggamit ng unearned franchise revenue, yung mga ganyan. However, uh, under the PFRS 15, iba na yung recognition. We look at a uh, contract liability as an, uh, as an account title to be used. Tingnan mo tong application on the uh, on the problem. The, yung 120,000 initial franchise fee, uh, if it is in the old standard or the old accounting, it is recognized in full in December. 
Okay? However, sa uh, uh, under PFRS 15, yan ay dinidefer, ina-amortize over the 5-year license. So, nakita natin yung difference nila. Okay? So, anong ibig sabihin nito? Uh, the PFRS 15 is leaning towards the matching, yung pagmamatch ng revenue doon sa related uh, cost. More of ganun siya. So, tingnan natin yung uh, how do we journalize. On December 1, you debit cash, credit contract liability, 120000 for the receipt of the initial fee. And then on December 31, you debit contract liability and then credit revenue for the revenue on the initial fee. 120 divided by 5 times, uh, ano ba ito? 1 over 12 ba yan? 1 over 12. So, tingnan mo. Parang ganun lang din sa kanina, yung 9 over 12 because... Uh, Kung titingnan natin ay uh, kung kailan siya nagsimula. Ayan sa December 1. Okay? December 1 kasi nagsimula. So, 1 month na lang yun. Kaya siya 1 over 12. Yung recognition for that. Okay. On December 31, you debit cash or, or a receivable account and then credit revenue for the, uh, ano, for the continuing fee or yung sales base uh, royalty. 2 million times 3%. 60,000. Okay? I will not be discussing the old kasi baka mali ito ka. You have i-refer mag-refer ka na lang yung paggamit nila ng UFF and the F yung UFF yung unearned franchise fee. Yun lang naman ang major difference diyan. Okay? Look at uh, the variation 1. Initial fee represents a fair measure of the services rendered. So ito ay uh, i-twist natin yung problem. Paano kapag the franchise has not yet started operations by December 31? However, ABC has performed all the initial services and the 100,000 120 upfront fees is non-refundable represents a fair measure of the services rendered. So, hindi ko na po titingnan yung old accounting but please focus on PFRS 15 kasi ito yung ginagamit. I I Kung medyo familiarize ka na, pwede kang mag-refer para lang ma ma tan makita mo yung difference nila, okay? In many cases, even though a non-refundable upfront fee uh, refl uh, reflects on activity that the entity is required to undertake at or a near contract inception to fulfill the contract, that activity does not result in the transfer of a promised good or service to the customer. Instead, the upfront fee is an advance payment for future goods or services and therefore would be recognized as revenue when the, those future goods or services are provided. Okay? So, tingnan mo kung bakit ganito at i-compare mo dun sa old accounting. Next, the 120,000 initial franchise fee is deferred and amortized uh, starting from the date the franchise is able to use and obtain the economic benefits from the license and the contract uh, until the contract expiration. So, pansinin mo lang na uh, under the PFRS 15, meron siyang tinatawag na ano, yung initial services as administrative tasks. Kasi walang ganito doon sa old accounting natin. Let, let us take a look at variation 2. So, ito yon. The franchise contract explicitly states that the 120,000 upfront fee is consideration for the initial services and the sales-based royalty is consideration for the grant of license. ABC assesses its performance obligation in the contract and determines that it has two separate performance obligations. One is yung initial services and second, the granting of license. So, ABC, ABC meron siyang dalawang obligation. Una, yung mag-provide ng initial service na naka-identify at yung grant ng license. Okay? So, how do we recognize this? The 120,000 upfront fee is recognized as a revenue in 20x1 because it's uh, in this case, the initial services are distinct and therefore form a separate performance obligation. So, kung mapapansin mo, kanina, deferred and amortized. Yan. ba? Pero dito, since this is a distinct item, siya ay recognized as a revenue in 20x1. Okay? Okay, this uh, scenario on to go is uh, is just a reiteration of what we have identified. So, pwede mo itong basahin as you go along. This is uh, an additional uh, 
discussion related to the recognition of initial franchise fee and the continuing franchise fee. Ang basic logic lang naman na pinepresent niya dito ay yung pag-treat ng initial services as administrative tasks, yung 150,000, okay? Then may 80% of uh yung ito yung royalty or yung sales uh sales based royalty. Okay, I think I have to end the discussion by here. Uh, on the next succeeding uh, succeeding video, uh, we will be ending the discussion on the franchise, starting on the allocation of variable consideration. Thank you.